Buenos dias and welcome to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, we have just arrived here after a sailing from St. Martin all night. It was a very great sail. We've had some wonderful adventures. Uh, you'll see those in the preceding videos to this one. Uh, we haven't had very good communication, so as I probably said in a couple of the other ones, you're seeing this probably after we've gotten back from Barbados. I just wanted to say hi, let you know that we have a couple cool things planned for San Juan today. We're going to be going to hopefully the rainforest and also right back there is an old fort that we're gonna learn a lot more about. So I just thought I would say hi for this uh, wonderful morning. Got about three more days on the cruise ship, a couple more in Barbados, and then we'll be back in Orville. We'll, we'll, I'll be back and doing my reports after I get another drone because I'll be needing another drone but anyway so I hope you enjoy the video that follows and uh, there'll be summary at the end to tell you what we did for the day have a great day I just want to be very clear about this. I've traveled 13 hours by plane. I've been on a boat for four days to come to Puerto Rico. And my entire family, all of them, they're in Walgreens. Where is it? Where? They're in Walgreens. Walgreens. Not, we're not, we're not eating any food. We're not doing anything else. We're in Puerto Rico. Here, I'll show you. See? See? My ship, my ship is right there. That is my ship. We are about three blocks away from my ship, and I'm, where am I? Where am I? Guys, you, can you see this? That's where I'm at, I'm in Walgreens. Why? Because I came with a lot of people who need sunscreen. I don't need sunscreen, I'm dark. They are not, they need sunscreen, and they have been in there for about 20 minutes, trying to figure out which sunscreen is best to protect them. I told them that they need to use crude oil, or just, you know, aluminum foil or something that's just purely reflective because that's all that's going to save them from the sun in Puerto Rico. That's all I have to say right now. I will talk to you later. I may still be in Walgreens when you see this video five, six days from now. Have a good day. Bye. Well, that was a little while. Whoa, that's cool. Do you need help? We're on the Castilla, the Cristobal, San Cristobal. Castilla, San Cristobal, the main courtyard. I'm going up higher. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Got a little, little bitty look at 
this ship on the far side of the deck. And this is the main firing pattern, the part that overlooks the port. Hey guys, where are we at right now? Okay, but where are we at before I vomit? Christoph, Where at? Where? What part of Puerto Rico? God, it's like 14 every time. See? See? We didn't lose Dennis, nor his wallet, nor his passport. Oh God! I guess you're allowed to. Everybody's doing. I guess you're allowed to. Oh, that's this isn't terrible. Oh, don't walk up there though. Oh, you already did. I kind of want you guys to see how far it is. Okay. I did. It's very scary, David. You know when you're out there, you're like, uh, I don't know. So here I am, walking up a calle in Old San Juan, beautiful place. Every one of these roads has these really super cool, like glazed bricks on it. Very cool. Little sundries on either side. Whew. It has been quite a walk. And it is definitely hot here, but still very nice. Kind of loving the Caribbean. I'll definitely be coming back. I am on search for a restaurant that one of the um, rangers suggested I go to. This is the view of the Carnival Fascination off of the deck of the Amazing Grace, the two masters, 87 foot schooner that will soon be flying the San Juan Bay. Everything is for real. There is nothing on this decoration. Okay? So you'll see us hoist the sails by hand. We're going to trim the sails by hand. Everything like they used to do back in the 1800s. This is a replica of a boat that was sailed back in the 1800s. Uh, made out of cement, believe it or not. And we're floating, very heavy boat. Um, so, more or less, this is what they were sailing back in that era, okay? We are gonna go out right between these piers. 
head up into the winter, we can raise some sails, and then we're gonna head up to the other side, which is Cataño. Okay? Right where Cataño is, we're gonna turn around, and then we're gonna go to the other side of what we see here. And we're gonna see some more of the historic uh, buildings that we have here, in old, or some of them, not all of them, uh, of Old San Juan. Okay, we're gonna have a voiceover explaining everything that you're seeing. Um, of course, if you have any additional information, feel free to ask us. And we're gonna add on to what the voiceover is saying too. A little bit of, of key things that's not on that voiceover. Um, that way we can all interact with you guys. That's just the voiceover guy, all right? Um, safety, we have life jackets in these four deck boxes. Plenty for everybody, all right? You're not gonna see them, you're not gonna touch them. You're not gonna need them unless we hand them out. If we do hand them out, follow our instructions and we will lead you to safety. Believe it or not, we are trained professionals, okay? <laughs> Um, so, you know where they are, you're not going to need them. We do have a restroom down below. The best way to get there is where the captain is when you go down. Um, so when you go down the steps, make sure you face the ladder, that way you can hold on. And your first door on your right hand side is going to be the restroom. Okay, please no paper, plastic, or any type of weird objects inside the toilet. Only, only what's been processed to your body first goes to the toilet, very plumbing. It can go very, very easily, okay? Um, do not cross this red line that we have here towards the front. We're gonna have our sails out up to that line, so always be on the safe side, so, which is from that red line towards the back. Okay, feel free to walk around and dance all you want. No problem with us, okay? Uh, in this cooler right here, we have beer, which is uh, Medaille or light local beer. We have sodas, Coke, Sprite, and Coke Zero, and we have water. This is self serve, but if you don't wanna get up and we're not doing anything, you can bother us, no problem, okay? In the back over here, we do have a rum bar because we're in Puerto Rico, the rum capital of the world, plus we're pirates, <laughs> and we drink rum. Yeah. All right, so we have a rum bar right back there. We have different drinks that we can mix up, like mojitos. We have passion fruit mojitos. We have uh, also a, a lime, cucumber, mint mojito, which is really refreshing. Uh, and then we have two boat specials that we created here on the boat. We have the first one, which is called uh, Garita. It has strawberry, pineapple, and a hint of habanero extract. So if you want to try something different, that is the drink for you because it's a little spicy at the end. It has a little cake with the pepper, which is really good. We have it with and without rum, of course. Um, and we have the Arizo, which is uh, pineapple, mango, and strawberry. That's not spicy. That's more like a rum punchy type of drink. So if that's what you're looking for, that's what you, want, you might want to try, all right? Um, your crew for today, we're going to have Federico here towards the front. We're going to have Captain Angel at the back, at the helm. And my name is Hiram. Any questions? No? What was the second drink called? The Erizo. second boat, boat drink? Erizo. Erizo. Okay. Erizo. Nothing else? Any, any doubts? Any regrets? Mm -hmm. No? Because you're too late for the regrets for yeah. the doubts. Yeah, yeah, we're waiting. Too late, you have to hold it. <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll be uh, sailing for like an hour and a half. Okay. So we should be back around 4 o'clock. Okay. Right. Right. So have fun. Enjoy it. We haven't been to this part of it yet. We went to the uh, let's see, San, San Cristobal, uh, the Pastilla de San Cristobal, right? That's where we went last. But this entire piece is one big fortress, right? All we go around the whole city. this video this is where your uh, son-in-law would be stationed in San Juan <laughs>
So we just came off of the Amazing Grace, wonderful, wonderful excursion there. It is the only top sail schooner in San Juan. Look at this amazing boat, ship, sailboat. I'm going to have you guys say hi to YouTube one more time because the rum made me um, decide to press a photo instead of a video last time. <laughs> so there you go. These guys, these guys did an amazing job sailing with us. Two perfect jives. And I definitely am able to uh, critique those. I've done a few jives myself. There's the name of the boat right there, the Amazing Grace. This is definitely something that if you come to San Juan, you definitely want to get to this boat. It is right off the cruise ship terminal. And I will have all the links down in the description off this. So thank you guys very much. And I will see you guys. I'm going to have to remake that promise since Rum made me press the photo button before. Uh, that if I come back to San Juan, I will be sailing with you guys again. Okay? All right. See you guys later. Thank you so much. I'm Chris. I'm Patrick Garland. Patrick, yeah. nice to meet you. This is Phyllis. Hi. Hi. This is Nadia, my mother. Hi. 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 Joe Tribe. All right. So we are looking at a beach 25 minutes away, right? How can the beach be 25 minutes away? side of that just got done with doing some sailing out here that right over here are you there is the Castilla de Santo Cristo bar that is my best Spanish translation right there that is as much Spanish as you're gonna get from me right now after much rum much rum on the sailboat so, just thought I'd show you. 
This is, uh, I don't know where, which bar this is, but this is absolutely amazing. Kind of a party that has just kind of sprung up on the block. This is the kind of stuff that you can expect from San Juan. Look at that. There's a lot of cruise people there, a lot of locals. It looks amazing to me. I think we're probably going to end up back there. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Okay, this is straight up a beauty shot of the Carnival Fascination in port at San Juan, Puerto Rico with just about the best light that I have ever seen on any video ever. I'm gonna kind of pan us around and come back to her. So this is the port of San Juan. We just took a cruise out here on a sailboat. No, a single mast. And then let's whip it back over to the carnival. Look at that, just majestic as heck. That's amazing. So that enormous building you see in front of the Carnival Fascination is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stories tall. And the Carnival is still taller than that. And that's what we sailed in on. So just for a little bit of size comparison there for you all. So everyone, I'm at the end of the day in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We spent some time doing some, a little bit of drinking, uh, some sailing on the wonderful amazing grace which you have to if you get down to san juan puerto rico you have to take a cruise on that ship i'll make sure i post the links on this video and in the background there let me see if i can get my big mug out of the way is the carnival fascination that building right next to it is an eight story tall building so that is an amazingly giant ship as you can see there let me see if i can get the bow of her there she is right there so that building is the customs building in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and the ship next to it dwarfs it by about three stories. So that should tell you a plenty of what's going on. So in San Juan, we went to the um, Castilla uh, de la, what is it? Castilla de la Cristobal. Cristobal. So that's Christopher Columbus's uh, castle, essentially. And got some video of that on there. We did some shopping. I got some really cool sunglasses for only $10. And I would say that out of this city, I would say that this city is the city of shopping and the city of uh, food. We had some really great local cuisine here. And I would also highly recommend the wonderful lady Norma. Is that right? Yes, Norma. Wonderful lady Norma, who was our tour guide today. She just happened to uh, walk up to us. So if you happen to be lucky enough to see Norma here, make sure that you tell her that Chris from the 365 says hi. Anyway, so we're going to go back to the ship. It's been a long day and uh, get a little bit to drink and eat there and go on our journey tomorrow to St. Thomas. I hope to see you guys all there. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everyone. This is Chris from the 365. I'm descending back down into the Carnival Fascination. I thought I'd chat with you guys while I walked. Um, just wanted to summarize what we did yesterday in San Juan. Uh, I can tell you that I really liked San Juan. San Juan was a wonderful port. Uh, I consider that one, we went into Old San Juan. Let me tell you what we did first. We went into Old San Juan and then we um, visited one of the castles there, uh, the Castle de San Cristobal, uh, Christopher's Castle, kind of like that, <laughs> made me feel good. He named a castle out of me, after me. Uh, but, and then after that, we went to, uh, be, da, back down into old San Juan, which was my favorite part. There was a lot of places to shop, uh, many great places to uh, just hang out, and there was some great food, lots of parties. Uh, we then took a little, uh, little, an 87-foot schooner to the, uh, through the bay there, 
and had a great time there. Free rum, that's always a good thing when you're on a, uh, when you're on a little excursion. And then after that, we topped that off with uh, walking around the city, uh, buying a few things, and it was, just, it was just great. It was a different kind of port from what, I'm, uh, from what I was used to. That port, you know, you know, normally we're going to do some swimming or that kind of stuff, but that one we really just kind of took in the city. And that is something I would absolutely recommend you guys do whenever you have a chance. Uh, right now we just docked in uh, beautiful St. Thomas and I'll do a little uh, video about that after I get some breakfast but uh, I'm sure that you guys are watching this after we're back from Barbados communications are still somewhat of an issue although in the I can tell you that in both San Juan and in the US Virgin Island St. Thomas here that we have regular cell service which is good not good enough for me to upload videos to you guys though so uh, you'll get the full videos once I get that part uh, taken care of in Barbados will be so this is our last island that we'll be uh, seeing here actually actually I'm gonna edit that out so so anyway have a great day uh, I will see you guys soon I'll be back in uh, back in Oroville reporting on the dam I've seen that there's been some great progress some uh, wonderful stuff happening there so hope you've enjoyed a uh, uh, little bit of the carnival fascination that you've seen here let me show you where I'm at I'm underneath the uh, main smokestack now walk down from the Lido deck there we go carnival fascination let's see if we can kind of tilt this up there we go so Anyway, have a great day. I will talk to you later. Bye.